Welcome back to the last Bastion mod for Hearts of Iron 4. We're the last Bastion of democracy, and somewhat ironically, we took out the, like, only other democratic faction last time. But in my defense, they were attacking someone in an offensive war, so it was a completely legitimate reason to attack. We're still at war with, like, some of the remaining places, but there's only one major. It's Costa Rica. I, I don't know how well defended they are. I'm just gonna try to naval invade them real quick or something. Oh, this is Nicaragua. Oh. Okay, now that we're attacking the right country, we should be able to um, win this war. Or maybe they'll just capitulate and I'll get another peace conference and then we'll be at war with another, like, two random people that are left. There we go, another peace conference. Is it with everybody or is it with just... It's just with two people. Oh wait, but we weren't at war with the other one, so now we can just be happy and the commonwealth lives on with, like, these three nations. Oh well, I'm not complaining. We have bigger enemies to worry about, and just because the focus tree in this mod isn't the best, and we can't really justify against anyone because no one has caused world tension, except against, I, except I guess like the French People's Republic. Even the Soviet Union we can't go to war against until they attack us, and who knows how long it'll take. So I'm going to maybe use a few, a few cheats. I know, I know it's bad, I know I shouldn't be doing it, but I have to cheat for content, okay? So I'm going to allow myself to just cheat to justify war goals against people, just so I can actually do stuff. Because we really need to deal with the Union of Britain, and then we can move on to other areas. We really just need to take out the Union of Britain because they puppeted a lot of places that we took land in, so now we can't release those places as puppets, like India, Australia, etc. Or here, yeah, here's the Australian People's Republic. This island that's like way far away from Australia is the Australian People's Republic. Yeah, very cursed. Wait, can we release New Zealand though? The Native People's Republic? So they- oh, they do! Oh, this is part of New Zealand! And that's terrible. This- this is what happened. And I usually never do this, but I'm actually switching on to export focus as the US, just because we're having to buy such a crazy large amount of stuff from other people, that it's just- you, I just have to go on export focus. Like, free trade. I'm, I'm losing so much stuff, like I have to put so many factories back into trade. And I'm not- I'm not getting those factories back. I guess I'm not really gonna be able to build that much with factories soon, so maybe I should go back on to free trade, but... For now, for now we'll stay on to just export focus. Okay, well, it's time to go after the Union of Britain to, you know, liberate their people and to get all these puppet governments. I swear, we're the good guys doing things for the right reason, as always. They do have a lot of divisions, which I'm kind of concerned about. A lot of these infantry template five, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll declare the war. If we can land, we can probably win just because I have all these pretty good 40 widths that should be able to cause some damage if all goes well. Yeah, there's our naval supremacy, easy. They're actually guarding this quite well, but I can still try to land, I'll do my best. Oh, wow, they're actually guarding their entire coastline, that's surprising. I might actually have to wait until my marine divisions are done. Oh, the French Republic capitulated, that's interesting. We're doing decently well though, we should start sinking a lot of ships. Let's try to invade again, I kind of have a slightly better invasion force, I'm still not sure if I'll be able to successfully invade, but I can- I think I have a better chance now. Oh yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna land this time. There. Okay, they have a lot of divisions though, but we're ready. We have these 17 40 widths that are ready to jump right over and get started. We actually don't have any good tanks yet, but we should get some soon. The air superiority should really help though, like, I think that's the main difference when invading Britain. Like a few weeks ago, I was trying to invade Britain as Germany and kind of failed, which was embarrassing. Well, it wasn't really embarrassing because Britain had infinite defense in their divisions, but yeah, still, still not ideal.
Okay, we've kind of made a good landing here. I think it's time to bring over some more divisions just for support. I think we can really do some maneuvers here in the south with this new army. Eight divisions circled here. The north is kind of separated from everything else and really weak. I think this war is pretty much won. It was pretty easy, and I don't think anybody else is a major. Yeah, that's good. They don't really have anybody strong. They're kind of trying to do something here, but our puppets all put like seven divisions over there to help out. That's quite the meme. Canada can also break free whenever they want, or they need more political power too, but that's fine. They'll be in our faction, and everything will be fine. Maybe we'll give them back their territory too. <laughs> yeah, that might be good. Ah, oh, nice, okay, this is good. We'll puppet the Union of Britain, we'll liberate the Union of Britain. Actually, we'll just take all states for now, because I don't want to have to look through everything. I'm just gonna take everybody's states. And I guess we have to satellite everywhere else. Satellite Israel, satellite. Egypt, Commune of India, Commune of Haiti, Native People's Republic, a satellite mysterious place with no name. <laughs> Perfect place to satellite. Oh, they're all, they're all just supervised states, though. I don't really want to give territory back to something that's not a puppet. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But if we release the UK, then they'll be a puppet, right? Yeah, they're a puppet, so that's okay. We can have the UK led by Mr. Generic Guy. He can be a puppet. Everywhere else, we'll probably just keep the military occupation. And we'll prepare now for the invasion and liberation of France. They have a lot of colonies, too, that I would not mind taking for myself. Oh, well, it's finally time to go off of volunteer only onto limited conscription. Maybe we'll have to change the age back to 18 from 20 or something, but I think we're fine for now with age, we only need that 1.5% more from limited, and we should have plenty of manpower for all the future wars. And if we need more manpower, then we can just steal some from the UK or anybody. Okay, let's go after France, only to liberate them, of course. It has nothing to do with the fact that they have all these free colonies for the taking. Let's start this war, though. I don't think they have many divisions, so I'm not, like, too worried about this entire thing. And I don't think they have a navy either, so... Wow! And look, we can actually invite the Weimar Republic to join us. I thought we would have to cheat if we ever wanted them to join, but no. That's nice. And then we can help them clean up the border gore in Germany, too. Everything's perfect. They're not even defending their port. They have level one naval base, though. That's bad. We're gonna have to go to this one. And now we can send an actual army over. I don't even think we should have to send more than 24 divisions to take all of France. That's how kind of bad they are right now. Oh. And they capitulated with Paris, too. That, that, that just makes everything so much better. That was so bad. That was the easiest war ever. The American empire of democracy slowly spreading. Democracy, pretty much, yeah. Hey, why are they justifying a war goal? There are puppets. I'm not very mad, I would like to add Italy to our American empire of democracy, even though they're already a democracy. It's just weird that we released this nation and then the nation was already halfway through justifying a war goal. It doesn't make much sense. I don't really understand. Wait, oh, we accidentally took the Rhineland. Okay, well, we'll unite all of Germany except the Rhineland. I promise I'll give the rest of Germany to Germany. We we're just taking the Rhineland. I didn't mean to take it. It just happened. And to war with the Southern German Commune. This shouldn't be too bad. Let's just call everybody in so we can actually invade them. Oh, they won't because this is an offensive war. What? Why? <laughs> oh, now they join. Okay. I guess they just had to join on their own, by their own free will. Yeah, they, they have a lot of divisions. This is kind of crazy. The Southern German Commune is actually not that weak. We might actually have to wait until our tanks are ready to really, um, win the war. Mm -hmm. 
I promise we'll give it all to Germany this time. I can't do anything at all about the Rhineland, though. Besides, I guess once they become free, if they become free, I can kick the Rhineland from the faction and then re-justify war against them. But yeah, besides that, there's really no way I can get the Rhineland back into German hands. Wait, who made- oh. Why, Germany, why? Why did you have to do that? I was trying to unite Germany and you had to make a puppet. It, it's just stupid. The AI shouldn't be allowed to make puppets on their core states. Oh. Ah, uh, well, hey, at least we finally, we finally, at long last, have a border with the Soviet Union. Oh yeah, they actually did cause world tension by going after Greece, so could actually fight them. We could fight our true enemy at last. They have a lot of divisions and Poland has a lot of divisions, so this could be interesting. We still don't have that good of a border, but I guess we could invade over here too from this island. And our puppet has almost justified their great war goal against Italy. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think puppets can declare war, right? But I guess we should be ready in case they can. Yeah, I think, I think we don't have to worry about that. Just wait for us to declare war against the Soviets and then our puppet randomly declares war against Italy. That's something that would happen to me, this game. Ah, uh, this game. But anyway, I guess we'll probably get to that all next time. That'll be fun. The fun way to end things off, declaring on the Soviet Union, actually fighting an enemy. I guess we did better today. We didn't fight any democracies today, so you can't get mad at me for that one. But anyway, see you guys in the final episode next time.